we're going to look at the problem 642 divided by 3. Now what this problem actually means is we're going to start with 642, which I'm going to represent over here, um, and then we're going to take this number and split it into three equal groups. So here's what 642 would look like. I'm breaking this up into um, hundreds, tens, and ones. So here we have our six one hundreds for 600. Then down below we have our four tens, 10, 10, 10, 10. And these are ones for the two ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we are going to evenly split it into these three groups over here. One, two, three. And we're going to see how many go in each group. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our six one hundreds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these hundreds equally into these three groups. So I'm going to take these two and they're going to go over here. Next, these middle two will end up here. And lastly, we're going to take the last group of two and break them up and place them in this bottom group. Now what's important to note is that all three groups have the same number of hundreds, which means we were able to evenly divide the hundreds into three groups. If we weren't able to do that, we can't just place a different number of hundreds in each group. That's not how division works. We're trying to find the equal number that will go in each. So now that we're done with hundreds, we're going to go ahead and move on to the tens. So what I see here is I have four tens. I'm going to take them one at a time and place them into a group. So this 10 right here has a group. I'm going to erase it because it was divided, as does the next 10. And the third 10. So now we could see there's one 10 left. I cannot just place this 10 up here. It doesn't work like that because then there would be two 10s in the top group and it would not be an even division. So what I need to do is I need to take this 10 and I need to break it into 10 ones. So I'm going to go ahead and break this 10 into 10 ones. Remember that 110 is equal to 10 ones, which is why I'm able to do that. And now that since that 10 is in 10 ones, all that we have left are 12 ones. So these are going to evenly split up. I'm going to count the 12s or the ones out until I get to 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And let's make sure we had twelve ones over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we started with six hundred forty two. We divided it evenly. Each group you can see has two hundreds. 110 and 4 ones, which means that 642 divided by 3 is equal to 214.